Mm-hmm. Isaiah 19, and verse 1. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Woo! I can't wait to go home, man. This place is freaking terrible. Verse 2. What is it? What, what, what does he say he's gonna do? This is prophecy. All right. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. Do you hear that? And everyone against his neighbor. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. The scriptures uh, goes into it says realm against realm. Nation against nation. Oh, man. If you, I, I don't have, man, look, I understand how you can't see it because the scripture said the election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. But it's so it's so very clear to us, man. See, the verse three and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy the council thereof and they shall seek the idols and the charmers. And to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. See, le that left hand side magic that they've been using the whole time is, is, is no longer enchanting Jacob. And when I say that, I'm talking about the elect. Damn the rest of these two thirds. They're full of garb, full of crap. But Jacob's trouble's coming. And it's going to sweep up. It's going to sweep them off their feet. See that the spirit of Egypt verse four and the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of the cruel Lord and fierce what and a fierce king and shall rule over them. Say the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh of host of armies. Woo. You ain't ready. You are not ready. Second answers 13 verse 31. You see. And Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, man, he's 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 the perfect, he's perfect, perfect chess player. He's making all these moves. Uh, it reminds me, something you know, something something happened yesterday, and it, it was the it's the perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. You know, Lord will, and I'll, I'll explain it. Second Ezra thirteen verse thirty one, and shall undertake to fight against one another, one city against one place against another. One people against another and one realm against another. See that? Pitting, he's got, all these curses are happening. They, he's pitting everybody against each other. All these, all these different nations. Same way they did us, he's doing to them. The curses are coming upon them. You see, it said they shall what undertake to fight one another, brother against brother, spoiling their houses. Oh, oh I forget, I forget. Uh, what was that called? It was some kind of game, grape. You all know what grape is. Some kind of grape game that these Hamites play. And they're going to be playing that against these uh, against these women here in Babylon. See that? I, I, uh, I put up a video years ago about a World War II soldier. And he was going into it and talking about, you know, how they would, uh, they was, uh, they was graping women to death. See, and then there were Edomites doing that to death. You remember as an old, old man and he was, he was doing it too. He was involved. That's why he had to spill the beans. So called. All right. Verse 32. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass and the signs shall happen, which I showed thee before. That's regeneration. The same brothers, the same uh, 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 prophets, artists, uh, we back. He showed us these things before. Things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. And, and, and it, was, it, was, it, was, it was written by us. And we see more things than the prophets of old, which in fact was us. Don't get it twisted. It's not a boast or a brag thing. It's the truth. 
I showed you before. See, he told he told us, he showed us this before. Okay? And then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest as a man ascending. Woo! You hear that? Is that too deep for you? It's, it's not. It's not. It shouldn't be too deep. Mm-mm-mm. In verse 33, and when all the people hear his voice, every man, sh every man shall in their own land leave the battle. They have one against another. That's heavy, man. That's heavy. I got a couple more. All right. Deuteronomy 30, verse 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, will pull all what what will put all these curses upon thine enemies. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And they still got their damn foot on our necks. But at the same time. It, it, here it is. Here it is, though. At the same time, what are they going to do? Rise up against each other. 25 states is 50 states. All right. Uh, all of Babylon is torn in, in, in pieces. It's going to be busted up and broke down. But Jacob's trouble's coming. Let's, let's read about it. Let's see. Where was I at here? Jeremiah. Let's lock you. Yep. This is, yep, see, this, yesterday I was thinking about this scripture, and it was for a reason. I'm going to read this first, and then I'm going to tell you why, all right? Stay with me now, stick with me. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Um, Salakia, let's see if I want to go back here. Yes, sir, I do want to go back. Mm -mm -mm. Verse 3. Jeremiah 30, verse 3, For lo, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. That's northern and southern kingdom. Saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will cause them to return to the land that I give to their fathers, and they shall possess it. Verse 4, And these are the words that the Lord Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not peace. When they shall what say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Verse 6, ask ye now and see whether a man doth tra uh, traveleth with child. Therefore do I see every man with his hand hands on his loins as a woman that traveleth, and all faces shall be turned into paleness. Verse 7, What's a and a the MOT to the B's gotta come first though. We we understand that. Verse 7 at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Who's that? The ones who was who, who what? Cry, sighing, and crying. The ones who the souls of the just complain continually. Did not did I not read that? Those. All right. Now, it reminded me of this. Now, yesterday, you know, I spoke about uh, I spoke about my grandmother and how she uh, well, she was getting ready to turn 104 years old in March. Right. And we, you know, we don't celebrate birthdays or whatever, but we know when the hell we was born. All right. But she uh, she passed away yesterday and now she's with Yahweh Bahashib Yahweh Shai. And that's beautiful. All right. Now, again, that's why it reminded me of the scripture, like almost right off the bat. And that uh, and uh, Ecclesiastes, you know, which is a it's very comforting scriptures there. And it tells you, when, you know, when, hey, when somebody when somebody uh, gives up the ghost, they go back to what? To the one who made them. You know, all right. But anyway, the reason why it reminded me of the scripture right here about Jacob's trouble it's because you how about Shimyal Shai? He's a perfect chess player. He already knows. Man, she 103.9, <laughs> right? Uh, but he knew that she wasn't going to be able to go through Jacob's trouble. So he so, hey, you just, so he, he, he called her number. And it's awesome. Call her lawyer. How about Shimyal Shai? You see? And see, and, and that's another thing. As, as brothers and sisters, you know, the ones who understand, the ones who have the eyes of, right? You you can understand these scriptures are very comforting to us. We re we really have a hell of an advantage and a hell of a gift, you know, because if we were in this world, all emotional, messed up, you know, 
the same dumbass people you we used to be, whatever. Okay, then I, I shit, I'll I be all broke up and upset, but I know where she's at. She's good. <laughs> it's beautiful. All right, Jacob's trouble's coming, man. Let's go. See, all this is coming down the pipe. It's all happening. Isaiah twenty six verse twenty one. Let's read it in the NIV right here. See, the Lord Yahweh is coming out of his dwelling to punish the people of the earth for their sins. The earth will disclose the blood shed on it. You see that? The earth will conceal its slain no longer. It's a man. They didn't consider the latter end. It's a recompense for everything. It's a recompense for everything. Let's go back here. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Deuteronomy 32, verse 28. For they are, are a nation void of counsel. <laughs> they turn at none of his reproof. Neither is there any understanding in them. They just, See, that's what I was thinking of the whole time. The scripture had me go back to verse 28 right there. The spirit. Salaki, I said the scripture. You know, hey, same thing. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, Salakia, the comforter had me go back and read that. Cause these Jakes, man, they're just they're just so they're so gone. They're so gone, man. And I'm 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 getting sick. I'm I don't want to be. A, I gotta be honest, man. I was just speaking with a brother earlier. I don't even want to be around none of these Jakes. None of them, even the family members. I don't want to be around them. Cause they just they ain't right. They're just they ain't right, man. You know. A lot of vexation of spirit, man. Verse 29. My goodness. Oh, that oh that they were wise that they understood. So lucky that I read verse 28. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I sure did. All right. That they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. You see that they would what consider their latter end. But nope. Isaiah 1 of verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner and ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not consider. They don't even consider. Even when you tell them, that's why we shake off the dust of our feet. It's getting real late in the game. Yet again, I said it before. I'm going to say it again. It's getting real late in the game. You know, you, you, you playing around. You know, you, you, got, you got ninjas uh, uh, making up, uh, uh, was it Yahweh Day and, and, uh, with, with some damn ham? You got, you got a whole camp of, of, uh, of uh, uh, Israelites that won't call on the names Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You see? You got, you got, uh, uh it, it, man, all these, uh, these, these dudes is going off, hand, hand joining hand with the damn devil, going on a, a vocab Malone show. Y'all are through, man. Y'all are finished, man. All right. You don't know who your enemies are. Hell, acting crazy as hell, man. Let's read this. Then we'll close out. You know, I probably already made this longer than. Than I intended, but you know, hey, it's not up to me. It's up to you. How about Shimmy Abishai? Let's let's go here. Let's go back to Second Ezra, sixteen verse seventy. For there shall be in every place and in the in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. <laughs> they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Verse 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Verse 73, listen to this. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold is tried in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you. From the same Be pricked with these words there at the, at, at the last Be pricked with these words Be pricked with the Bible Read, understand it, get all into it Let's go 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 1 But of the times and the seasons Brethren Ye have no need that I write unto you For yourselves know perfectly That the day of the Lord So cometh as a thief in the night for when they shall say peace and safety. What did that say? When they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them as travaileth upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. 
Okay? So there it is. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. Give it all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work. Hey, man, look, this is the year, hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, 2024. What does it say right here? American Revolution. 2024, the year of the American. You already know what it is. You see it. They getting sick of each other. He that is evil towards himself, how can he be good to anybody else? Paraphrasing. All right. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Kwame Yacharala and Wa a Bible ball. Boom. Shalom.